Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So when our number of test cases grows in our application, and that is very likely if you have a big app, then it can quickly become very messy if we always instantiate our test objects in the before function, so in the setup function. So let's actually take a look in our Android test folder, data shopping DAO test. You can see in our setup function here, we always initialize our database and our DAO. And for this simple app here, that is totally fine to do it like this. But imagine you have a really big app and a database instance is something that you very likely need in several test classes. And then always instantiating that in the setup function several times in several test classes, this can quickly become very messy and be a lot of boilerplate code. So in our real app, we actually use Hilt for that to just create our database in our app module on a central place to be able to inject it everywhere into our application. And Hilt is also very awesome for testing because we can also use it the same way as we do it for our real app. So we could just create a test app module here in which we define this database here as a provides function with Hilt and then simply inject that in, into our single test classes. But it's also important to know that this only works for instrumented tests, so only tests inside of the Android test directory, but that is also perfectly fine for our needs, since also the database here is only needed in our instrumented tests. And for that, to actually make use of that hill testing, we need to add two more dependencies into our build.gradle module app file. So. I will scroll down to our instrumented unit tests, make a little space here. Um, and I will add two more dependencies here. On the one hand, an Android test implementation and a capped Android test implementation here. That is just for annotation processor. You can find these as usual from the link in this video's description from my GitHub repository. We click on sync now to add these dependencies and afterwards we can actually start to implement Hilt for our tests. So usually when using Hilt, we just annotate our application class with at Hilt Android app. But for test cases, this application class is not very, very suitable basically. So we need to define a special application class and that is not done by default. Instead, we need to define that class or so our very own um, JUnit test runner basically that just uses that Hilt test application instead of our very own application class. And we do that in our um, testing package here in the Android test directory, right click, new Kotlin file or class, and that will be called Hilt test runner, which will be a class and that inherits from Android JUnit runner and that is just a very small class here. We just need to override one function, which is called new application. And you can see this function returns super that new application with the class name passed as a parameter here. And that is the class name of our actual application. So the application class we declared in our manifest and we created and annotated with at hill Android app. But we want to replace that here with Hilt test application double colon class dot java dot name and that is already everything we need to do in this class and we actually have to declare this test runner a little bit differently as we did it before so if we take a look in our shopping DAO test class scroll up you can see here we annotated that with add run with and we use that android j unit test runner and as you can see in our hill test runner we inherit from that Android J unit runner. So that hill test runner is also such an Android J unit runner. And to define that actually, we need to make a little bit other stuff than we did here. So we cannot simply replace this class with hill test runner. Instead, we need to go into our build.gradle module app file, scroll up to our default configuration here. And you can see here is our test instrumentation runner specified. And we just need to replace this with our custom Hilt runner here. So just use your package name here. Mine is com.android devs.shopping.dao. 
shopping list testing youtube dot hilt test runner and then we can hit on sync now and gradle will do its job and the next step is to actually create our actual test app module so the module in which we define our dependencies that we only need in our test cases we can also do that in our android test directory or we should also do it there so in the root package of that i will create a new package for di dependency injection and instead of that we create a new cotton follow class called test app module and that will be an object as usual for these modules we have to annotate that with add module and we want to install that in our application component double colon class so let's actually write the functionality to provide our database in here so we annotate that function with add provides just as usual and by the way we don't need to annotate this with add singleton now which we did in our real app there it was important but in our test cases we want to create a new instance for every test case so we don't want these to be singletons here that will be a function provide in memory db so if you remember we use that in memory database from room which is not a persistent storage database instead just a database in the ram basically and that will take the application context so context which is of type context not that context uh, android content context and we set that equal to room dot in memory database builder which takes this context as a parameter and our database class which is shopping database shopping item database double colon class dot java we call dot allow main thread queries on that and dot build afterwards okay and now we can actually switch to our shopping DAO test class here in which we can remove this annotation here because we specified our own hilt test runner uh, but we need to add one more annotation for this because we use hilt instead of this test case that is very similar to if we want to use hilt in android components then we annotate these with add android entry point but for test cases we actually need to use add hilt android test and that will just specify for hilt that we want to inject dependencies into this test class and then we can actually remove this private here because we cannot inject into private variables and we annotate this with add inject and that will now inject this database from our test app module or actually no it won't because now hilt doesn't know which database it should actually inject because inside of our test class we also have access to our real app module in which we also provide such a shopping item database so it doesn't know if it should take the shopping item database from our app module or from our test app module and to solve that problem we can simply add such a named property to give this dependency a name so i will just write test db here and then we can copy this annotation go to our test app module and also add this annotation here above our provides function so then hilt will actually recognize that we want to inject exactly this test db here into our shopping DAO test class and now the last thing we need to set up here so that hilt actually injects stuff into our test class is we need to define such a rule here for hilt and we can do that up here so annotate that with add get colon rule and we call that hilt rule which we just set to a new hilt android rule and this takes um, the test instance as a parameter for which we can just pass this because that just refers to this test class here and then instead of our setup function we don't want to create this database on our own because we did that in our test app module instead we can just remove that and use our hilt rule and call dot inject so this inject command will actually make hilt inject all of our dependencies here in this class which we annotated with this annotation here and we can actually leave the rest as it is because we still have our DAO object here which we instantiate in our setup function that is fine 
We don't want to inject that because we still want to be able to close our database afterwards. So we need a reference to our database inside of this class. And let's actually hit on run and hopefully everything should work. So let's see. Our emulator is starting. And you can see all test cases pass here. So the injection is working perfectly fine. So injecting dependencies into test classes with Hilt is as easy as it is for real apps. But sadly, it is very difficult to actually test fragments with that. But there is luckily a way to solve that problem. And we will worry about that in the next video because we need to write some custom functionality there. But I will explain why we actually need to do that. And then we get to the real interesting testing stuff like um, testing fragments, the interaction fragment and view model, navigation and all that stuff. So integration tests basically, not unit tests anymore. And there it really starts to become interesting in my opinion. So really make sure to stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment below if you learned something new. Have a really nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.